YouTube what's going on it's your boy from YouTube <coughs> and today I'll be doing a Photoshop tutorial on how to make some text like this so this text acts as really good on a banner if you're doing a rebrand or whatever you're doing so basically what it is um, the font will be down in the description but it's not just a font like these and Google Locks and using a lot of different techniques and this will be the new style of my banner that I'm making um, I got this um, style from Blue, so his link, the link to his YouTube channel, will be down in the description. So be sure to check that out. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new um, file with my desktop resolution. So it's 1360 by 720 pixels, just like this. That's something like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to unlock the background layer and we're going to quickly put the background a dark grey colour just like this so here is the coordinate sticking on them so go on and go on um, so we're going to get some text and the text that I'll be using um, is called find it Remember what it's called. Could be this. Could be this so you're gonna go for font, uh, maybe the um, tension fifty. Depends what your resolution is. And um, I'm gonna quickly find what um, font it was. So. Um, Uh, vermin vines. So we're gonna the the front will be down in the description. So check it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do whatever text we want. So what I like to do is um for this tutorial I'm gonna do sin as the writing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um s space space n s space s w space space n uh, so you can do two spaces in between each one, so it will look like this. Once we've got this, um, we're going to reverse rise layer. So right click on the text and click rasterize type. Once you've done that, we are going to get the rectangular rectangle tool. tool. Um, not the one down here, the one up at the top and down below the cursor. And on each letter, we are going to go over it. Once it's done that, we're going to right click and click on layer layer via cut. So every time you do this, you go back to the first one, right click layer via cut, go back to the first one in the end, right click layer via cut. So once you've done this, you can rename them. So S Y N okay. and now once you've done this. Um, we can make these all closer. So the Y, we're going to move this closer to the um, S. So you can move this along, just hold shift, and that will keep it um, um, in line. So we're going to go round about there. Oops. Round about there. Then we're going to zoom in. And we're going to get our pen tool. And we're going to take away this bit here. Around here, right click, then click on make selection and click OK, and then press delete. Then this will delete here, and then we're also going to do this. We're going to click on S now, go there, up, up to back on the pen tool, and just remove any of this excess bits you want removed. Then go round back to there, right click and click make selection, OK, then click delete. This is just so it's um, all joined together. So if we zoom out a bit, as you see, it's joined together there. Now we're going to put the N in, 
um, sir, before we do that, we are going to go onto the while layer. We're going to hold CTRL or Command if you're on Mac and press on the top layer, the S layer, the very first layer, and just left click on it. And once we've done that, we're going to go to Select, Modify, Expand, and then Expand it to 5. And you think, OK. Once we've done that, we are going to go to the Y layer, the second letter layer, and press Delete. What this will do is it will just make a little space between the S and the Y. Now once we've done this, we can move the N over. So this again, hold shift so it does not move. Uh, so hold shift so it does not move. And we're going to move this down a bit here. And I think we're going to... Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. N. Um, let's zoom in a bit. Um, put it in this corner. If I lower the opacity of the Y, I will see where the corner is. So the N. Um, Maybe something like that, but I'm just the same lines in here. Yeah. Um, something like that. And then put your patty up on this, and we'll quickly do the exact same. We're going to go to the end, CTRL or Command if you're on Mac, and then left click on the layer before, so it all highlights it. Click on Select, Modify, Expand, then put it to 5 pixels. Then click OK. Now you're going to click on the layer below that, which is N for me, and you're going to click Delete. Um, so now I'm um, quickly going to. Mine kind of goes down, so I'm going to move mine up, actually. And we're going to do the exact same process as what we've just done. Um, so we're going to click the CTRL or command if you're Mac, press on the uh, Y, go to select, modify, expand, then click OK. Go to that layer, the layer before, there. So that looks better. So now the, the text looks really nice. What we're going to do is we're going to merge all these layers. So we're going to uh, go to the top layer, full shift, go to the bottom layer, layer right click and then click merge layers. Once we've done that we should come to a whole new layer. What we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer, put that underneath um, the the, thingy, uh, the other layer. Once you've done that um, you are going to press CTRL and left click on the S, the top one. Go to filter um, sorry, uh, select, modify, um, oh, sorry, put to uh, hold CTRL and press it on the new layer that you created. So, um, new layer, oh, sorry, on the top layer, on the top layer, sorry for that, then click on select, modify, expand, then by 5 pixels again. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to write, um, sorry, um, we're going to right go to the rectangle tool, right click, right click, and then we're going to click on fill. Once we've done that, we are going to click on color, and we're going to do the same as the background color. So to get the background color, um, you're just going to right, um, sir, uh, you're going to hold Alt, and then press your background, and it will. Automatically give you the color number 51, 51, 51, as I said before. Click OK, and then click OK there. Now, if we undo this, as you see, it's got like the outline. Now, what we're going to do is you're going to fill in bits that are like, um, I've got this bit here, kind of like, let me zoom in quickly. So, if you've got bits like this where there's no gaps, we're going to fill that in. So, if you get our brush tool, same color again and you're going to color this in here so um we um color this in i i think this is the only one that we 
have Sorry about that, go to something. So you're gonna take away so it was like this and then you're just gonna take away the um, rectangle thing and you're gonna fill these bits in with grey. Just ones like that. Um see if you've got any more. If you don't have any more that's if you don't have any more that's fine. Um no I don't have any more. So we're gonna quickly put this background layer back on and then we're gonna zoom back out. Um zoom like that. Then now we're gonna make another layer. So put the layer on, and then put that underneath the other layer. So now what we're gonna do is on um, the layer that we just did, we're gonna hold CTRL or Command if you're on Mac, and left click on that layer you just um, edited on. So now you're gonna put it again, select, modify, expand, and expand by five pixels. No, not five, sorry. Um, uh, select, modify, expand, and expand it by about three pixels. Now, oh, sorry, I need to do that again. Did some. Um, expand by three pixels. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to do exact same again, but we're going to do a different color. So, this time you can do any color you want. So, you're going to right click, uh, fill. A uh, color, see, see again. And this time I'm gonna do a kind of a bluish color. Click OK. See what you can do, see it's like that. Now we're going to do a, a, another layer. Do the under layer too. On CTRL or Command again on the layer, the other layer you made earlier. Click on Select, uh, Modify, uh, Expand. Expand it by um um three again. Once you've done that, you're going to again right click, uh, fill, color, and then you're going to put kind of a um do a full white. Right, so you've kind of got this. So now you're going to go back to the very first thing you made, which was this in here and then you are going to um, right click um, double click on it to bring up the blending options and then you are going to go down to the color overlay now you're going to change this color to a grayish color and um, so maybe is it that color no. too dark so not far do you just where you see white, do it a bit lower than white, so it's kind of like that. Then once you've done this, you can add whatever you want. So you can say add um, in the very last layer. You can go to blending options by double clicking it. You could add a an inner shadow, no, sorry, dropped shadow. Um, change the size a bit, a bit bigger. Or you can do whatever you want. Don't recommend the spread. I don't really like using the spread much. Um, the stuff that I like using most is the size. Size the um, most. So we're gonna click on the color again, and we're gonna quickly see if we can get this blue. Yep, we can get it. Let's change it to blue. And once we've done that, we can zoom out to fit screen. Now once we've done all this, um, you can re uh, merge all these layers. So, as again, hold shift and pop in the bottom one. Right click on one of them, then click merge layers. Oh, no. I'm going to take away the drop shadow. I'm not too keen on the drop shadow. So again, we're going to right click and merge the layers. Now once we've done this, um, as you see, it's um, it's a bit a little bit small, so I'm just gonna make um, a little bit bigger by holding Control T on the uh, layer you're okay, making bigger. Then make sure you hold on Shift when doing this, so it keeps the size. If you don't hold Shift, it's gonna go like this, and then it can go like there and there. But if you if you um, do hold Shift, it's not gonna go up and down and all that. And then we're going to make this bit a bit bigger, just like this. Put 
appears in the middle here. Um, I'm just quickly. This is just for you can make this for anything, but I'm just making this for text right now. Um, so yeah. Um, so let's go click file. Just gonna quickly save this and show you on my desktop. Um, sin. Just call it sin. I think it's wrong for sin. I'm just gonna save. Um, no, cancel. Save as um, sin. Oh, I spelled the kernel wrong, and I have to click PSD again. Um, sin. Uh, change the file to PNG. Uh, save. Now I'm gonna quickly change my desktop background. So if you go to the on pictures, and we'll just call sin. So if we very quick it, stuff a desktop background. And as you see, it's got like a pretty nice desktop background. You can add more effects, but in tutorial, I was just um, making the text in this. I wasn't putting any like effects in the background. This is just a nice, simple, cool text that you can put on your banners. Um, I'll show you another one I made. Um, there's the other one that I made. So, yeah, I think that one is better than this one here. So I just did the other one fast, just for the tutorial. Um, minimize that. That's um, smaller so you can see. So there's the two ones. Um, you can um change the um. I when I went to the modify and I changed the range. You can change that to whatever you want. So on this one, as you see, I did it bigger. I didn't just stick to five. I uh widened it to around about uh seven or eight. So you can do that as well. Um. It's really your text. Um, so if you want to see more videos like this, please make sure you drop a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to buy some designs with me, please make sure you uh, message my Skype. I see Skype will be down in the description as well. Be sure to check out my team um, aspect. Uh, there will also link it down in the description. So yeah, as I said, if you want to see more tutorials like this, please sure, please be sure to like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Hope this helped. Bye. Bye.